Welcome back to another vlog. It's currently 5.16 a.m. We are about to head over to Cocoa Beach to baptize some guys. But first, real quick, we got a one sip review of the ghost cream. This one's good. Guy in yeah. the freaking ocean. Let's do this thing. Good morning. Look at this freaking sunrise. God's presence this morning is just undeniable. We're about to baptize these two guys right here in the ocean, and God just gives us this amazing sunrise. What's going on guys? I'm about to baptize my man Justin. And I just want to give the story of just like how we met, how our relationship developed, and how we even got to this moment. So I met Justin like two, three months ago, um, moved down to Florida, and he was like, yo, let's meet up for lunch. We met up, and I, of course, just started talking about my faith, and he said he hadn't been in faith in, in over a decade, hadn't prayed, hadn't done any of it, and it just it wasn't really for him. So I, I continue to talk about my faith. We leave the lunch, whatever, and he just said that God called him to, to get back into church and to get back in the faith because of my lunch. And then he joins Elevate over time. We just build that relationship. He's showing up to Bible studies. He's praying. And one day I just get this text and he's like, hey, man, like I want you to baptize me. And just, whoa, like immediately set back. I had that feeling of, you know, just an imposter syndrome, I guess. Like, who am I to baptize someone? Like, that's one of the most monumental moments in their life. Like, I don't know about me, right? But I immediately answer and I'm like, yeah, dude, like, let's do it. And it's just one of those things, like if God puts an opportunity in your life and you say no to it because you don't feel ready, I believe that you're calling God a liar. He wouldn't have placed the opportunity in your life if he didn't feel you were ready or he's going to equip you to be ready. And honestly, like in anything that I've done in my life with starting a business, with baptizing Justin, with, with really anything, like I've never felt ready. I've had to just take a jump, take a leap, of faith and just put my faith in God and trust him that this is the path he has me on. He wants me to serve these men. He wants me to do something like baptizing Justin. And I'm just so grateful that I answered the call because we're out here on a, a beautiful morning. Um, and it's just gonna be a moment we remember for the rest of our lives. It's unreal to think about. Drew just got baptized two weeks ago? Uh, yeah, mid-June. Mid-June, so. so now that you think you know we're about to baptize Justin and Alex, you got baptized two weeks ago. Like, what are your thoughts on? I think it's an amazing thing that they're doing. I uh, was talking to Alex about it this morning and just reassuring him that he's making a good decision. I think it's a, it's awesome. And what in the freaking environment to do it? You know, man, can't it's like, beat it. You can't beat this. All so. these guys here. My man yeah. Drew is down a hundred pounds. He's looking like a Greek god. We need to get him in a cover magazine. And he's single. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Look Just at this guy. I was watching. Alex has been somebody who has brought, we've been brought into the DK community. Um, a while ago and we've just seen him not just transform as a coach and as a leader but we've seen him transform spiritually i think that's been one of the reasons he's been able been able to influence and lead so many of the men that are part of this community and influence a lot of men that are part of your community too is because he's allowing he's truly allowing god to work through him right matt says god is working and i think that god works through people and god has absolutely been working through this man right here and it's been undeniable to everybody who he's crossed paths with and it's been undeniable to him so it's been amazing to see him just accept Christ as, Lord, as his Lord and Savior. And I think he's taking the ultimate act of leadership in this community by getting baptized today. 
and having this demonstration of, of turning his heart towards God. So, mm. man, I couldn't ask for to have a better leader as part of our community, man. Amen. Love this guy. Y'all, what's going on team? We just got back from Cocoa Beach, baptized this man, had some freaking ice baths, caught the sunset at the beach, came all the way back, got showered up, cleaned up. Now we are on our way to Action Church, my absolute favorite church I've ever been to. And they are all about action, so it's incredible. Picking up Drew, maybe Chris. I don't know, I just had to scoop these guys from the Airbnb. They sent an SOS, so they needed a ride. So we'll uh, happily transport people to church. Drew, my oh. man, you ready to get your Jesus on? Oh, of course. Thank you, sir. And then can we do another grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew? Drew, what's up? You were like a woman ordering me. Oh, <laughs> that'll be all. What did you get? You got your sweet what? Your Vanilla sweet cream, sweet cream or something? Oh yeah, that's that's a very manly drink. Yeah, but you were like kind of wanting sweet cream. non-fat <laughs> shots of espresso, two pumps vanilla, no classic, shaking not certain Jesus. I'm on a plan. Jesus. Man. I'm on a plan. This guy trying to survive. Alright, here we go. I get these two stars is crazy. Starbucks is one of the biggest banks in the world. Because yeah, of this. Action Church, and one thing I love about this church is one, it's called Action, but two, they talk about action being so vital. Like, if you're somebody who's just going to church, it's great, keep doing it, keep getting into the word, but you need to live out your faith, you need to take action. A sign of growing closer to God is a sign of transformation in your life. If your life is not changing, you need to start taking action in your faith. Just wrapped up an amazing church service. We are now here at Gage. We're gonna eat some authentic Puerto Rican food. And then it's go time for me. I'm gonna deliver a speech, encourage these guys to live boldly, and live out the mission that God has placed in their heart. This creation is La Chonera Latina. If you're in Orlando, I don't work for them. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. But La Chonera Latina is the most authentic Puerto Rican food in the history of continental United States. And so, right here we got that. That pollo, and this is chicken. It's just the best chicken. We got arroz with something. 
pork riddled through this rice. This rice is cooked with pork. And then we have my personal favorite, pernil, roasted pork shoulder, cooked Puerto Rican style. If you're ever in like a lechonera latina, it's the place to be. Thank you, bro. Oh, man. Thanks for letting me smell better. Mm -hmm. Man, you guys didn't think we were gonna get that heavy on you, did you? Shit! What? Condensation, is that the word? Yeah. We ready? We're good. Man, I'm just absolutely exhausted. Left it all out there, speaking, pouring into those guys. And honestly, like when I was speaking, one, I didn't even know the words that were gonna come. It was legitimately just God speaking through me and I'm just so grateful to, to be a mouthpiece and a vessel to bring other men to God. And with that being said, we're gonna wrap up this video here. Subscribe, like it, drop a comment on what you guys wanna see next. Just remember, God is working.